seemingly insignificant plants may be important for human food supply. Most of the Earth's crops come from, from only about 130 different plants. And most of these originated from 12 regions of the world where their wild ancestors are still found. Geneticists often look to these wild species once new strains of pests uh, blight our crops. When blights hit Colombian or Brazilian coffee strains, for example, new wild strains from the Ethiopian highlands were found to save them. In the late 1970s, the grassy stunt virus hit the rice crop in southern and eastern Asia. After searching 47,000 varieties of rice for a resistant strain, a wild plant was found in an Indian valley that has since been flooded by a hydroelectric dam. After searching all 6,500 varieties of barley, the California Agricultural Lands Product Project found an Ethiopian strain resistant to the yellow dwarf virus that now protects all of California's $160 million a year barley crop. The U.S. saves $50 million a year annually due to a disease-resistant wheat genes, which came from a seemingly worthless wheat strain from Turkey. In 1981, the British beer industry gained $15 million after incorporating a wild hop plant. Our crops have been bred to decrease genetic diversity. Of the vegetable species that existed in 1900, only 3% exist today in the United States. This leaves modern crops in danger from new parasites, and wild ancestors of our modern crop plants pose the sources for genes which can save us from viruses and fungi which blight these crops.